All right, boom. We got our crew healed up back to a reasonable now, well, almost. We're just getting the last little bit of healing that so we don't use up too much stuff. So he's going to go off back to piloting our ship and we'll be ready to go. So he's back in charge. We are still very low on fuel, however. So um, let's see. Where's the ship over there that's going to say hi to us if we can get close to it? It's going to take 19, this is going to take 10 fuel to get to within its scanner range. And there's also dangerous technology over there. A little ship here. Ah, for gag traders. Um, I am going to get credits by selling my exhausts because I've got a lot of fuel. And they give us a little gift of um, metals. So they give us some ceremonial egg holders. Lovely. Um, I have excess metal, so we're going to dump excess. We have five fuel left. Um, I don't know what to do. I guess it'll fly over here. Okay, we are out of fuel. Now what? Um, we are going to have to scrap some lesser valuable yielding modules or nukes. Okay, um... Let us scrap this thing, and then we can convert the excess into fuel. Okay, that did not serve us very well. Um, drat. Okay. My fuel is very low. We can still fly a little. Let's fly this way. Alright, how, how do we activate the SOS? We're going to turn on our SOS and see what this does for us, because we are in a rather unpleasant situation. All right, there's approaching ship has detected us over our communications. They are a slaver. Stand here all by yourselves. We're going to take you with us. Show us the finest dungeons. Train you be good. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's an intimidating looking ship. They've got all right shields and scarier weaponry. All right. Um... Well, let's... Well, I don't know how good their weapons are. However, we can probably get some fuel out of them. So we are going to try to take down their... Um, well, we're just basically going to blast their shields as much as we can. However, with our missiles, we got actually a decent amount of explosives. So let's blast their weapons. And then with our weird steam gun, we're just going to continually blast them. And we're going to see how this battle plays out, so... They're behind us. That's kind of cool how it's different directions on the battle. You can set up different defenses. So there goes our lasers. Try and cut into them. We take out four of their health. They're trying to hurt us. They miss us with their little missile. Uh, holy cow. Our, our little steel shooting gun's terrible. But we destroyed their shields now. And one of our missiles hits. Excellent. Now we can fire proper lasers and damage their systems. And our little metal things go off. They're going to engage the warp drive, try to get out of here. However, we've got these lovely missiles. We just hit their engine. Boom! Blew them up. We won. Yay. Good for us. And we got that little message. And now we salvage some stuff so we get some fuel. We can get out of here. Sweet. And they gave us a turbo engine. That's... We're going to scrap their turbo engine. Okay. Well, I think we're going to... Mm. Excuse me. I think we're going to leave it there for now. So uh, thank you all for watching my video. And I hope to see you in the next one. If you like to watch it. So, um, bye. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shortest Trip to Earth, I believe that's the name of the title, although it might be Fastest Trip to Earth. Um, my name is Lorthorn, and we are back on the Eclipse One. We just defeated a uh, Slaver Raider who wanted to take us hostage, but they weren't expecting our ship to be so well clipped to beat the ever-living daylights out of them. So we're going to go to this new little planet thing here and see what it is. Oh dear, we're flying through asteroid fields. Okay, well. That sucks. And now there's a fire. Great. Um, that's that's lovely. Why do asteroids suck so much to fly through? I, I really don't like them. 
Um, dealing with the fire, I guess? How you deal with fire, apparently, is you stand inside it and breathe out blue, glowy glue. Goo. Okay. Our guys are a little bit hurt, too. Oh well. No matter. We're going to go to this gas giant and get something out of it. We can harvest fuel from it. Excellent. Oh, we discovered a satellite uh, around it. Satellite so had some metal and synthetics. It's, um, we approach gas giant, we find broken. Ah, it's a broken satellite. And now we're harvesting gas. We get some fuel. Excellent. Now we can get out of this horrible system. Um, and go to the exit. Go to the warp gate. Alright. Um, so, there is something of interest to me over here. Let's analyze data. It's a large asteroid field. Almost worthless. Almost. There might be something you can use that, though. Um, we're going to enter the field to search for something of use. There is a fast flying asteroid um, hits us and we harvest metal from it. Probably not worth it. Because we have excess of metal now. Alright. Um, there is a satellite over there. I believe we can get repairs from satellite. Oh, there's Anley's ship. There's approaching ship from the Rat Empire. Uh, ah, no, I'm not paying your taxes, you damn dirty rats. Oh my goodness, it's a big it's a big scary Imperial cruiser. It's got a lot of shields. Alright. Um We can aim quite well with our missiles. So um they, they do have the ship crewed. I, I don't like the look of that big gun on front. So we're going to um, missile them with that. Then we're just going to the general firing this gun. We've got some explosives, so we're going to also just try to missile them, I guess. So, like, missile them in general in this area. And then we're going to basically laser them if we can't get like there's I don't expect to get through a shield but we're going to fire out our big missile because they're scary we don't want that gun boom we just took down a bunch of their systems really beat them up set them on fire now they have two in kind missiles that missed us though get rid of this little reticle here or actually hammered them quite a bit with our little metal shots we burned through their shields and boom our two missiles hit their charge at their warp drive they're not going to escape us though because we are going to hit them with our little pieces of metal, or not. Alright, they're charging up, they're ready to get out of here. Now we've got two incoming missiles. Boom! Blew them up. Excellent. And we didn't actually sustain any damage from that fight. Our shields withheld, and firing that missile just worked out really well for us. Those missiles are really good. I think we should hold on to them. I was a bit scared by them. That's why I used it. They have a micro reactor. Is this better than any of our reactors? Let's see, this thing gives us five. Um, we could replace our integrated hull with it, or something else, our extra shield battery. I really like that extra shield. I'm not sure there's anything I want to replace, so we're just going to put this into storage for now. We have excess metal. I guess we're going to have to convert that into fuel. What little we can. And, um... Where are we? Ah, let's go to this ship repair satellite station. These are very nice. First time we finally encountered one. Ship repair station. Finally encountered one. So we're just going to um, repair up our ship. We're going to mark all the damages on our ship. And we're going to repair. So big thing to leave on by. And it's going to go. Here we go. Here's our repairs here. Just take a bit of credits. Uh, um, we can trade resources here. Don't have any resources to want to trade. Nothing else I want to get, so yeah, we're just going to, I guess, move on. So we're going to exit the repair station. Now we're going to fly to the next station, next space station, um, because it's got some cool stuff. It looks like cool stuff for train. So a long range scanner, which is old. We don't actually have enough credits to buy any of this stuff. Um, we should sell off some of our exotic material. I'm going to sell some a bit off. I'm going to sell like five of it, I guess, and get about an extra hundred credits we can repair, but we're already fully repaired. So we've got some sort of gun here, another gun, 
We have our own things to sell. Can we resell? I don't think we can. I don't think they're looking to buy them. Oh well. So we got some random things here. We got some sort of... I, I, I don't know what we got here. In fact, these are um, some sort of electromagnetic that makes our ship dodge better and some sort of warp drive. Another warp drive type B. We've got a type 101. I, I like ours better. It's it's nice. It's a nice warp drive. So, um, there's a large asteroid field. We've gone ship repairs. Let's exit this warp gate. Oh great. War Rat Empire! Well, I thought... I thought that we had dealt with the nasty red head fire that be here, but there's apparently more. So we're going to engage them that, oh my goodness, this ship is much bigger than our ship and they're firing a missile at us. Okay, um, this is much scarier and I wish I'd held onto my missile. Apparently that ship I was really scared of wasn't um, nearly as scary as I thought. Now they got a lot of these rat flak guns, which are basically how they take down missiles. This thing is just armed to fire missiles. That's what it looks like. This is a missile firing ship, which is going to be very, very painful for us. However, for missiles to fire, um, I don't know what we should target. They got a lot of shield batteries here. Um, maybe I should target their um, general, just their shield emitter. So that's who we're going to shoot, is their shield emitter. I'm going to take that down so we can start carving them up like the Christmas turkey, or rat, giant rat turkey they are. So that um, we can escape, hopefully, with our lives. And we're going to directly target the rat flax here. And in general, just big sweeping thing. This is a scary ship. I'm a bit worried about our odds. So there goes their missile. It's going out. It's going to really hurt. Is our missile going to hit? Yes, our missile hit. All right. Can our flak gun kill their missile in time? It's hurt. Cut half. No, it hit. All right. It's some sort. Of, oh, it's a steam weapon. Okay. Didn't actually do anything to us. It bounced off our ship. And they are firing more missiles, though. That's what they're all about. They have a lot of missiles. I think there's rats in these missiles. I think there's ratmen in these missiles here. And our ship's on fire. So we're off the weapons, we're firing lasers. We have boarders board our ship. We're firing though, our security chief is firing his shotguns. This oh, there's rats everywhere. A crew member's down. Um You have a shotgun. Get in close and take him down. We've lost two crew members. This is not good. Um This is really bad actually. <laughs> Uh, we do not have good security. <laughs> Guns offline. They, we are giving them quite pummeling though. They're actually their shields are quite on fire. Um, although our, all our crew is down. Um, we're going to lock our door. Basically, <laughs> lock the doors. Lock the doors, and keep on firing our weapons at them. Um, hopefully. Take their big ship down, burn it to pieces, lock the door, hide from the rats. They broke down our door here, and they're sort of glitching out. Apparently, if you lock yourself into the command center, the rats freak out and have no idea what to do. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Um, let's keep on shooting them. Our shields are actually holding a little bit damaged. Let's... Uh, yeah, let's just keep on hitting them. They don't have much health left. We're kind of hurt too, though. Oh, yeah, our ship's on fire. This is not good. This is not good. We have incoming missiles we can't handle. <laughs> we should have held on to the missiles so we could fire two of them. Oh, he got it. Our engine got it. He's trying to repair. Everything's offline. The fire's killed the rats, though. Come on, buddy. Don't die. There goes her engine. They've gone and handle the fire. Getting shot here. It's not good. This might be the end of the Eclipse one. Might be the end of our intrepid adventurers getting killed by a big rat ship. We should have held onto our missiles. Panicked a little. Trying to repair. 
the system. Our engines are offline. Everything's offline. These rats are hurt. It's on fire. It's not good. Um, we're, we're out of bullets. We're out of stuff. Alright. I'm going to have you unlock the door and fight the rats with your lightning fists and you're dead. Okay. That's our ship down. Everyone's down on board our ship. We have no crew left. Missiles incoming. This this is the end. This is the end of the Eclipse Ones. We're we're going down. We're going down here. It, it was good serving with all of you. But we didn't make it back. At least one of our crew members survived and is now on the tree hugger planet. Oh, we did not earn as much fate points as last time. A lot less fate points earned. Well, um, Ow. That was pretty rough. I guess, um, I guess we can just, this, um, no consistency in the length of these videos if we end it there, but that's fine. That's fine. So I believe that, um, ah, oh, no, we, we can keep going. We can start a new mission up. We, let, let's start a new mission. So let's start a new game. <laughs> we have died. But we, we can have new ships, so there's also a bunch of other things, but I want to get the closest to the star. I want to complete or try to be it. So we failed the first time, non record our first test with the nuke runner. And then the tiger fish, our Eclipse One, died. We had seven starting crew. Seven? Oh dear, we lost two at some point. Okay. Well, that's whatever this thing is. We have um, 10 crew on whatever this thing is. We are going to have the um, weird ship as we're going to fly the weird ship. Um, oh my goodness. So not all our crew is human. And we got a bunch of fate points. Okay, this nail carbon armor is permanent upgrade. Let's um get this permanent upgrade as well, I guess. Seems like the thing to spend your fate points on. Um, warp animal skull. Plus one artifact at game start can be scrapped as a resource. Okay. Um, let's have a space pet. Extra space pet. Wait, what? He, one extra pet, five extra organics. Um, they draw... They draw a fire. That's the point of little space pets. So we have little per engine one... Let's rename this guy to Lil Per Engine 2. Um, so we're going to call him Lil Per Engine 2. And you're going to be Little Per Engine 1. Ah, there we go. Lil Per Engine 1. Lil Per Engine 2. Still got some fate points left over. Um, let's get a gun draw and a small pet robot, so we have Lil Ninja, and we have Beep Type 4, and we also have um, Beep Droid, who's fireproof, and we have um, Biffer, a rare UE adventure, wise but speaks as little as possible, and only in riddles, so we've got some sort of weird alien race on our ship, so we have Biffer, we have Mea Santalva, he claims to be the only survivor of the Basil's catastrophe. Um, we have Ilno, Flax. Ooh, his name's Flax. Let's let's name him to P Flax in honor of Pyrian Flax. Big fan of Pyrian Flax. Um, he tells stories. Most stories are about love and sex. Um, and then we have Liz Wixwom. A retired professional favor collector. Never hurt anybody. And then we have Corey Blue. Green Blow. A professional ship marine. Has augmented eyes. And we have John Blackie. Or Blakey. Not exactly sure. He claims to be a survivor. The only survivor of the Bloodsville catastrophe. They all do. Wait, isn't this guy a survivor of the catastrophe? Huh. Okay, we have two survivors of the same capacity. And we have... Doxum Valdor. Um, he is per engine three. We're renaming you to per 
um, per n gen three, because this guy has mollified his throat so that he can purr as well. We got a bunch of pets, a bunch of space pens, little cyborgs. All right, we're going to start the game. Blah blah. We already know all this stuff. If you're consistent, basically we're standing in space. So. Let us see. Wow, this ship is weird. So, we've got a uh, inserted warp ray with our heavy jet engine, which is being used by Burfurt. Um, where is our command center? All right, you're good, command. Um, all right, Burford is really good at repairing stuff. You are going to be the ship repair officer. Uh, Flax, you are obviously the ship security officer. You're very good with a gun. Um, this ship is weird. It's like a giant organic ship. Um, so long range, we got command. Wait, what? Do we have two command bridges? Oh, this is the shields. You're in command. What? Oh, you're not good enough to be in command bridge. Or, I guess, no, you're good and... Um, I'm going to move you guys around, I think. So you're going to do that job, you're going to do that job. We've got these little guns that are being operated. And we're going to power them on. They fire food. Our ship is based around organics. Weird. Alright. We have these reactors. That, um... They provide power to the ship, so they organ organ they use organics as fuel. Okay. We have this explosive thing that can we can turn on, which turns our I don't know, food into explosive. We got this giant gun which uses power. We're going to power turn it on. Anything else? We've got this um fun thing here. We're going to turn that on, the little flak gun. Um Let's see, we got our ship pets. What's this micrograver thing? It's a turn synthetics into organics. All right, that, that thing's useful. We're going rapidly as well, so we're going to turn that on. We got a missile, I guess. Yep, we can we fire a missile of squids. This ship is so weird. It's we got this giant organic ship. That, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, we're going to send you to operate the little flak gun, I guess. Flax at the flax gun. Got our giant living organic ship. This is really cool. I, I really like that. I I know I kept saying it, but it's really cool. Oh, and we've got our cyborg here too. Um, you are fireproof. You are going to be my fire officer. Not the breeding cyborg. Loves mass. Has a fireproof body. Um, we're going to power you on as well. Alright, we've converted enough synthetics. So we're going to turn that off for now. Got a little ship. Do we have a Healy place? Ah, biological medical organism. This thing um, heals our crew. Cool. So um, you're not hurt, but you are, so I can send. Let's send you because you're hurt. We're going to heal you up. We're just getting equated with our new ship. That's all we're doing for today, I think. We're getting equated with this new, really cool ship. So it's offline, it's too far away to travel. We're just going to see what the heal's like. It's a little gross in some ways, but also, I don't know, really neat. So he's going to go in here and just heals him, like sends out waves of healing energy. That's nice. Got our little per engines. Per engine one, per engine one, per engine two. And somewhere, we have, that's Flax, this is our weird robot Biff, um, where is he? Robot man the guns, command of the bridge, ah, here's per engine 2, in charge of our microgravity, or microbrewery, I guess. Alright, well, I guess. We are going to get ready for our new adventure next time. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video when we um, get ready to go on an adventure in our new ship. So, bye!
you know, buy and I'll, uh, yeah, I'm not good at this stuff. Practice, 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 practice. I'll just say bye and I'll uh, see you all next time. Thank you for watching.